Hey guys, this is Grayson from Two Dudes in a Six Pack. Um, on today's review, I'm going to be looking at Santan Brewing Company's Devil's Ale Pale Ale. Now, if you haven't heard of Santan Brewing Company, um, you're not alone. I hadn't either until I moved down to Arizona. Um, this brewery is based out of Chandler, which is um, a suburb of Phoenix. And it's only really distributed in the southwest. So unless you're in, you know, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, that kind of general vicinity, you probably don't have access to uh, Santan yet. Um, it is expanding. They've only been open since 2007, so it's still relatively new. But at least in the Arizona area, that they have um, a select number of beers. Uh, I live about an hour away, so it's not terribly, uh, it's not terribly difficult getting a hold of this. Um, but so let's give it a whirl. Now, as I crack it open and pour it, in case you haven't seen the other episodes, since this is two dudes in a six pack reviews, I we break it down into six categories and review each category. That's taste, smell, value, drinkability, distinction, and where I buy it again. So let's see how this can pours. All right, so you know you look at it, it's a little hazy, a little cloudy, nice little bit of head sticking to it. It's nice creamy. It's not just kind of uh, evaporating instantly after you pour it, which is nice. For smell, definitely has that pale ale, a uh, little bitterness to it. Kind of hangs in your nose a little bit, but it's not overpowering at all. That's for sure. So for smell. I mean, it, it smells like your average pale ale. It's not, you know, it's not skunky or anything like that. Um, so for the, the smell writing, I, I think, I mean, it smells pretty good. I, I think I'm going to have to give it a half out of one simply because nothing really stands out about it. You know, it's a little, little florally, but um, nothing... Nothing that's any different from what your you know your average pale ale is. Taste. I mean, you still have your bitterness, but it's not overpowering. I know me personally. I don't mind pale ale. Um, IPA is fine with me. I don't like it when the bitterness is so overpowering. Um, it's just it, it floods all your taste buds in almost every sense. I, I'm not a huge fan of that. You know, I know other people that are really into that kind of thing, but you know, that's fine for them. That's not really for me. So if you, if you like, you know, not over the top bitterness, kind of a low to mid level, this, this is excellent for that. Yeah, it's got definitely a, Nice flavor. It's got a little little citrusy. Um, I can see this being a nice kind of spring or fall time beer. Um, refreshing, but not just you know straight lemon like a lot of your a lot of the uh, a lot of the beers nowadays are, or just just overly uh, citrusy. So taste is good. Taste is excellent. I give it one out of one um, for this for the taste um, category. Now, as to value of price, it's probably just going to depend on where you buy it from. So, I mean, I'm not terribly far away. I was able to get a six pack of this for, I believe it was $7.99. And I, honestly, a six pack of craft brew um, for $7.99, I think, excellent price. And so, for uh, value for price, definitely, I, I recommend it gets, it gets the beer for that, that category. In terms of drinkability, which is the next category, uh, for the drinkability factor, it's all about um, can you drink multiple beers in succession? succession. Um, with this, I think so, yes. 
I don't think I can sit down and drink like an entire six pack. That that wouldn't happen. Um, it's just a little little too bitter for me to be able to drink um, a whole. You know, just clear out the case. That's <laughs> I couldn't do that. Um, but I could definitely have two or three. Um, then I wouldn't have a problem with that. And I, I wouldn't feel like, you know, oh, this is too bitter. There's other IPAs. I have one, and I might enjoy it, but it's just, you know, okay, i got to switch to something else. It's just, it's just too bitter. Um, so because the bitterness is not overpowering and because it does have good flavor, it's got, you know, good really year-round kind of flavor, I think, you know, I definitely uh, recommend the drinkability. So I'm going to give it one out of one for, for that factor. Now, next is distinction. And distinction is... Does it stand out from other pale ales? You know, it's not an official IPA, but it, you know, pretty much, essentially, it's the same kind of beer. So, well, distinction. Yeah, it, it it's definitely it's not. You know, it's different from um, some of your IPAs. If you like an IPA, you're gonna like this one. Um, if if you're okay with a little bit of bitterness, you're gonna like this one. It I think the combination of just the light citrusy flavor, the light bitterness, and I mean the flavor is a little complex. It's not um, it's not just it hits your tongue once and it stays like that and disappears. There's definitely um, it definitely varies as it hits different parts of your taste bud. So there's this uh, distinction to it. So I'm going to give it, I'm going to recommend it for that. So it gets the one I want for uh, beer in the six pack for that. Um, and lastly uh, is would I buy it again? Uh, I I do enjoy um, shopping around the local beers. It's nice to have something that's pretty decent. Um, local that I can go and buy. And so if somebody visits uh, from out of state. I can give them, give them this, and they will enjoy it as long as they enjoy beer. This is a good, if you enjoy beer that's not your normal Bud Light, Budweiser, Miller, Coors. If you like, you know, a higher level of beer, you're going to like this one. And so I would definitely buy it again. I'd give it, you know, the one out of one. So, yeah, I'd give it, what, what did I say? The five and a half. I would definitely give it five and a half out of six for um, this this two dudes in a six pack rating and so that's it that is uh, my review on santan devil's ale please let me know what you think in the comments i'd love to hear it if you've had it before um and you enjoyed it let me know if you hate it let me know if you hated my review go ahead let me know um I, i'd love to change improve it whatever you know we, we are just starting off these reviews so we're still pretty open to um, kind of tinkering with everything and we'd love for you to um, check us, check out our podcast. We've uh, just started it. We'll be releasing our next episode relatively shortly. You can check out our podcast, Two Dudes in a Six Pack. It's on iTunes. You can find it on Stitcher. You can find it on pretty much any place else that you uh, get your podcasts. And you can also follow us on Twitter at Two Dudes Podcast. So until next time and until next review, cheers.